yes guys welcome to another show let's get into some mma today guys welcome to another show i'm the host wesley of your chat thank you for joining me guys listen guys make sure you press that like button share and subscribe so this video engaging all the way them go out there let's get into it because we have us 303 coming up this week we have alex Pereira versus paraska people that's going to be a good fight unfortunately connor backed out of that fight injured toe broken toe whatever it is alex stepped up rematch let's get into this video right now so guys let's get into this fight this morning let's get into this fight card this morning because um it's gonna be a good fight people um usc 302 coming up 303 coming up this week um alex Pereira, you know what i mean um 10 and 2 since he came into mma um you have paraska you know what i mean he's 30 and 4 and we saw what happened in the last fight you know, I mean, a lot of people is not giving Alex a chance to win the second rematch, but I believe Alex will come through. I believe Alex will pull through this fight, people. I'm, I'm going for Alex Pereira. You know, once again, people, I'm going to record, you know, Alex Pereira is one of them fights. I'm putting him in the category. These are three MMA fighters that are called born fighters. You have John Jones, you have um, Francis Ugano, and you have Alex Pereira. People, those three fighters, you know, um, they just have it. It is something that is coming from the creator. He didn't want to give them that gift. So people, you know what I mean? A lot of people said that uh, Parasco, uh, uh, Gerard Parasco, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, saying that he was having very good success in the first round, especially in the, in, in the first fight, in the first round, which, you know what I mean? It, people, these are two skilled MMA fighters that are trained to execute well in the ring, but I just give the upper hand to Alex. Um, I just think Alex is a better striker. Uh, power is out of this world. Um, the kick in, his movement is just magnificent, people. I mean, so the, coming up this weekend, you know, I mean, a lot of people are, are saying that, um, you know, uh, Alex, you know, is it, it's, it's going to be, a of course, going to be a different fight, people. You know what I mean? No two fight, you know, uh, play out to be the same or no two MMA fighter are, are the same. They're different, they're different species. They're two different, two different training, two different background. It, it, it just, even though they find the MMA, but it's just two different style of fighting. And I just think Alex style of fighting, he just have it people. Um, you know what I mean? Like I said, a lot of people are not predicting the victory for Alex Pereira um, this weekend. You know what I mean? A lot of people are saying that um, Parasco was having a lot of success in the first fight, especially in the second round. Listen, Alex caught him. Alex knocked him out. Listen, you know what I mean? Um, also, uh, you know, um, Parasca, I hope I'm saying it, Gerard Parasca, um, went on record with the, um, the, 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 the open you know, the open, like the news day or media day, you know what I mean? With his interview saying that Alex is working uh, black magic and this and that. They asked Alex, um, Alex said, no, you know, he just find his spirit. You know, every person have a spirit and you have to be comfortable in your spirit, who you are and to execute. And people, right now, Alex is on a tear. We saw what happened when the last fight with Jamal Hill. You know what I mean? Um, Jamal Hill still, you know what I mean? Um, we don't know what's going on Jamal Hill, but I was Hill. You know what I mean? Um, we, we all saw the knockout, magnificent knockout. Um, you know what I mean? Um, listen, you know, uh, like I said, you know, Alex said it, it's not about black magic, it's about him finding his spirit um to be in one. Everyone should find that. Um, you know what I mean? Um, but away from that, people, um, you know, Alex, you know, also Anthony Smith also is on a card. Uh, went on record said Alex Pereira don't have no grappling skill. People, I, I I don't agree with Anthony Smith completely on this one. I'm not saying Alex Pereira is a master of jujitsu and you know all that. No, no, he's not. He's a up. He's a striker, kickboxer background. We all know that. We all know uh, the fights that he had with Israel Asani. And after that, people, he went on a tear, just knocking people out. Um, just. His precise movement in the ring, his punches, everything he's putting together, people, is just is just it. He have it, people. Um, you know I mean, it's not going to be an easy fight for Alex, but uh, Paraska, you know what I mean? Paraska, you know, he's he's he, he have a very unique style. Uh, it's like you know, it's it's a style that 
But it's coming, his style is coming from uh, karate, kung fu, stand, where he stand, you know what I mean? But uh, you could really, really, really see his game plan when he come in the ring. Um, he, he show a lot of his movement before it act, actually occurred in the, in the octagon. Um, but I believe Alex will take this one. Um, you know what I mean? Um, what next for Alex Pereira if he if he defeat uh, Paraska? People, you know what I mean? Um, I, like I said, I check my videos, people. I believe Alex want to move up to heavyweight. Alex walk around at least 230, 235. He's a big guy. Um, I, I don't see where Paraska could... I don't, man, I just don't see him winning, people. I'm not saying the fight going to go the same way, but I'm looking at uh, a repeat, you know what I mean, a repeat of the first fight. I don't, I don't see anything different. I, I just believe, you know, people, these type of fights, they perfectly match up. I just believe the person who have it will come out on top. It, you know, th these type of fights... The skill will take a play, you know, uh, training, good camp, all of that. But I just believe these type of fight, you got to dig deep down. These is deep down. That is not taught. You have to have it. And if you don't have it, you're not going to survive. I just believe Alex Pereira have it, people. We have it. And it had nothing to do with his power or, you know, one punch knockout. Yes. But I just believe his movement, he's just moved like a cat in the ring, people. Alex Pereira always set a hop set up his 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 position in the ring for some reason he don't spend a lot of energy in the ring he's not one of them fighters that just just throw punches and just blow out his energy he's one of them fighters conserve his energy and he know when he know when to pick those shots and know when to go hard and know when to close out that's the difference um Paraska is very wild on octodoc you don't know his movement yes but you could actually uh, you could actually foresee his movement. If you really study his fights, you could actually see his movement in the ring, what he what he's about to do before it happened, because he, in a way, he kind of predict his movement in the fight. Um, and he always looking for that right. And, you know what I mean? Listen, um, taking nothing away from Paraska, he's a very good fighter, very skilled fighter, but I just don't think he have enough to take out Alex. Alex is tough, man. Um, on the ground, Alex Pereira have a good, good, solid ground defense. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those fights I believe is going to be on the feet. Whoever execute the game plan, whoever go forward. You know what I mean? A lot of people, a lot of commentators on YouTube were saying that Parasco was walking down Alex Pereira, which was, listen, you know, but yeah, but the thing is, can you keep up that same energy? And that's the problem. Alex, you know, Alex do not spend a lot of energy in the octagon. He, he pick his punches very, very well. And when it come down to crunch time, that's the type of fight that you want to have in your corner. I, I'm going to go on the record again, taking nothing away from other MMA fighters, but I just believe Francis, John Jones, and Alex Pereira, those three fighters, man, I don't care if you in a dark alley, you have those three fighters and there's no way out. They will make a way out. They will do something to make a way out. That's the difference between, you know, the Alex Pereira, the John Jones, the Francis people. They just have it where that it is on a different level. You know, it's just they will find a way to win people. And that's a true champion. And uh, I believe Alex Pereira will keep his belt tomorrow, and, um, Sunday, uh, Friday, sorry, Saturday night, excuse me, Saturday night, the 29th of June. It's going down. U UFC 303. People, you know, there's a lot of people on the card too. We have, um, we also have uh, Brian Ortega, you know, uh, versus Diego Lopez. You know what I mean? That's, you know, that's a good fight for Brian Ortega. And people, we have Anthony Smith. Anthony Simmons just recently have a, you know, I don't care what anyone say, man. Anthony Simmons is just that guy. He's a fight, not, he's just a dog, man. There is no giving up in this man. Um, you know, at his age to 36 years old, people, um, I think, um, I think Alex, um, excuse me, um, yeah. Um, Anthony Smith is 35, 36 years old, um, going against Roman Del Deladez, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, going against Roman, you know what I mean? Um, 
Anthony Smith, Lion Hart, both 35 years old. He's 6'3", 305. The other guy is 6'2". And Anthony Smith have a little one inch, uh, you know, one inch uh, over him. But again, Alex Alex um, Smith is is on a good, 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 good vibes right now. I'm feeling that vibes, people. I believe Anthony Smith is in a run for for the belt. You know what I mean? If he get past this fight on Saturday, people, people don't. Alex Smith is a tough dude, man. He went back. You know, a lot of MMA fighters that age to go back in 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 training camp to tweak and to tighten up certain things. Listen. Alex, uh, excuse me, Anthony Smith is a well around MMA fighter on the ground, stand up, knockout power, defense, takedown. You know, is is you know he's all. I'm going for Alex. I'm going for Alex in that fight. I'm also going for Anthony Smith. I think both of these fighters will get it done. And um, listen, I, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward for these two fighters, Alex Pereira and Anthony Smith. Sooner or later, they're going to cross paths. They're going to cross paths, people. And that is a fight in the future. I believe, I believe Anthony Smith might be next up for a champion, guys, for the next for the next uh, line for, to, to go for the... Um, this is coming from the T-Mobile Arena. So, guys, thank you for joining this morning. Make sure you press and like and share this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, I appreciate all the people that watch my video. People, we are... I think we are uh, seven subscribers away from 500. We're working on watch time. Our watch time is close, people. Guys, thank you. Continue to watch the video.